Get them nice and fat. See how big they are? Nice and swell them up. Swell them up. Here I can zoom with this. I can stand this thing too, so you'll be able to watch the pan too. Oh, wow. There. <coughs> Excuse me, people. <coughs> That's a chef cough right there, man. <coughs> Over the shoulder. Keep them hands clean. <coughs> <coughs> One might slip. <sighs> but that's it. You know, you work eight hours on the line, you don't have time to run off line and sneeze. Or, you know, cough, you have to, like, be real quick and put your head over your arm. And then, then I mean, especially if it's a sneeze. It's best to sneeze into a sandy rag and then throw the rag out. Totally take yourself out of the situation, especially if you think you're carrying a, um, uh, um, uh, um, a, uh, you know, if you're carrying something, if you got a cold, or you might have flu or something. But if you eat my diet, guess what? I don't get sick. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> I don't get sick because I have eight different kinds of rice and eight different kinds or six different kinds of flour. I have like at least six different kinds. And I have several types of pastas and several types of vegetables and several types of meats and seafoods and grains and seeds and this is what I'm made up of so um I don't tend to get ill now most of America who's buying processed food you're eating food that is all right you're eating food that's 70 percent see that I'm handicapped too all right 70 <laughs> percent made with soy and corn. Okay, 70% of all the food is made with high fructose corn, uh, uh, corn syrup or, excuse me, some form of corn breakdown or soy. So everybody's corn and soy because that's what mostly everybody eats because all the pretty packaging. I watched everything happen over all the years. Remember when it used to go in a store and ragu, man, Chef Boyardee was like the prettiest picture in the Captain Crunch. And then they sold us on that, and that was one. Yeah, it was. High fructose corn syrup came in in the 80s, and it just started eating everything. I remember in, in the 70s, too. My uncle was on the farm. I told you this story before. And he, I hear him just ranting. And he's talking, you know, he was talking to some of the elder boys. And he's like, no, none of my kids are getting into farming. There's no money in it anymore. There's nothing in it. And he's like... The only thing the government will let me plant is soy and corn and soy and corn. And I have to rotate these two crops and I have to work these crops and you have to use all these specialized chemicals. And I mean, he's using ammonia that would knock somebody out and if you got too close to it. And he wouldn't allow anybody near the factor, tractor. And yeah, I watch him bring in all this soygum and, you know, and um, yeah, he just, that's all the government would let him grow. He, you know, he had his own, like, small garden. Well, not small, huge. When you're on a farm, you've got a huge garden. And, and they had, you know, chickens. And and it, they had a cow once, and they had horses, and they had lamb. and Lots of chickens, always chickens. <laughs> All right, peace, y'all. And pistol.